Bob asks, he says, uh, I looked in my activity log on my Synology disk station and saw all kinds of IPs, uh, yeah, listings of failed logins. And he says, uh, is the NAS being targeted? Is, are people like trying to hack in? He says, I went back a few months and there are thousands of similar entries. I think that I have my NAS protected correctly, but would love to have you cover that briefly on a show. Yeah. So, y yes, your NAS is being targeted. People, Synology and QNAP and, you know, probably others, but certainly those two are popular network storage devices. And so people know that they could sniff around on, and they're popular devices that have common open ports, right? Unless you change all kinds of things on it. You're going to have ports 5000 or 5001 open for login to your your stuff and and potentially others as well. 10,003 is another one. But uh, but you want those open so that you can access your NAS from remote. Uh, other people know this and they start banging on the door. This is one of the reasons that if you're running DSM seven on your disk station, which if you can, you should. Uh, it will tell you you should not have an account named admin as an active account, you should deactivate the admin account. And the reason for this is because that's only that's one of only two pieces that people would need to log in to your disk station, username and password. And admin is the default was the default username for all disk stations with full, complete root access on it. So that's why they're telling you to turn that off, because now you're leaving it to only one piece of information that people need to guess the password for your root, your admin user. Um, this kind of stuff happens all the time on my units. I see it regularly. I highly recommend that we all go in to on our disk stations, go to control panel, security, protection, and enable auto block. Uh, I've got mine set to block uh, uh, after 10 failed login attempts after five minutes. And then it, I have mine expire after one day. And the reason I do that is just in case it's me. If I'm traveling and I screw up and try to log in and I lock myself out, I want to be able to get in at some point. So that's why I have it unblock after one day. Um, uh, I don't know if I should be sharing that on a podcast listened to by, to by tens of thousands of people, but we're the Mac Geekup family here uh, until we find a better term that John's working on with all of you. But uh, we'll all still be the Mac Geekup family. So I trust you folks. So, you know, I don't know. Pete, you, you had an interesting take on this, though, on auto. Yeah, I did. Specifically. Well, and let, let me ask it before I go into my thing on that. You, you what you have at block is only the IP address from whence it is coming, right? That's the only thing you or, can block. That's yeah. Right. So, but it's so it's not blocking your account. So, you if you're staying at the same place, you want to be able to get in tomorrow. Cor that sort of thing. Correct. So, correct. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. And yeah, mine so if is I, if it's my hotel's IP that's being blocked. I want right. that to unblock tomorrow so I can try right. again. That's okay. Right. So, so stupid question. Could you use a VPN? Shift yes. your IP address. Okay. So, of course, of course, of course, I so could. That's, yeah. that's your workaround. That it is. You know. So, so that would then allow you to use my method, which is, um, I, I think, I don't think I have mine ever expired. I think once you're That's, blocked, your IP address is blocked, it's blocked. Yeah. And I also set it to like four failed attempts in like five hours. So interesting you know, attempts in five minutes is a lot of attempts. Four yes. attempts in five hours is not a lot of attempts. And I use my one password in order to, yeah. get, so I'm not worried about not getting in. Okay, that's and, really smart. I'm gonna go change mine right now while we're doing yeah, this. <laughs> no, seriously, okay, like yeah. this is a, this is well, a great you. idea. Yeah, why would I want to only block it in five minutes? I mean, if it happens in five minutes, it will also still be blocked because five minutes yeah. is is a subset of four hours. So yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Right, I noticed. So, that, yeah, that's like, yeah. Let's go with a longer. Sorry, hit the mic. Let's go with a longer time frame, and we'll wind yeah. up. Uh, but, but catching more fish in that net, shall we say? Yeah. Um, All right. Then, so I've uh, set mine to. Uh, I'm going to set it to five login attempts within 300 minutes, which is five hours. There you go. Yeah. 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 And then, um, to put the other thing. Going back to another show recently, I have found, and and it could be purely anecdotal, but Dave, I'm using Tailscale. Okay. And I find that my 
uh, disk station seems much more responsive, much more. It's just faster. It, am I wrong? I, I probably am, but it feels like it's just working faster. It's, it almost feels like it's I'm on the same and I am on the same virtual network with it. Yeah. But it, it eliminates the whole login issue and all of that. Huh. I mean, you, you still have to log in. I think, I, yeah, you're right. I do. Yep. Uh, now that you mentioned it, I did have to log in. But, 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 uh, but and, but I'm, it just, and now I'm it getting feels echoes. After using tail scale, I don't know why. Yep. I'm going to mute you while I talk here for Pete for a second, just because I'm getting echoes from your scenario there, which is fine. Um, yeah. Tail scale. Yeah. You wouldn't have to relog in constantly because your IP address of your client device, even as it, as it moves around the world, stays exactly the same, just like the IP address of your disk station stays the same. So it sees you as logging in from the same computer, which it is. It's just cool because you're all over the world and it doesn't matter. That's where tail scales perfect um, at doing that. So, yeah, I mean, whether it's faster or not, I, I don't I mean, tail scale uses uh, WireGuard as at its core. WireGuard is a pretty efficient VPN. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, it could be faster than whatever other VPN or, or authentication method you're using. Yeah. It, it may just be anecdotal, it, you know, I, of and course. It, it probably was from whatever, wherever I was that day. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm changing this on all of mine. So I'm going yeah. five attempts in 300 minutes on, on both of my publicly accessible disk stations. So that is now done. I like this. That's really smart, man. Yeah. Why would I limit it to just five minutes? Because, I mean, you know, if somebody tries that many times in five minutes, it's still going to get blocked. Even if it's right. if it's look ahead window or it's look back window is five hours. 